Welcome to the spreadsheets for solving ground water flow and position problems. This spreadsheet is for uh, particle tracking for well capture zones. You can include up to 10 wells, and the spreadsheet you can download from this uh, website. So, first, uh, let's enter the data. So, here in this first spreadsheet, you get the data first. You have to choose the iteration options of the Excel. And then uh, here input the data. This is the delta time to begin the, the, the movement, the advective transport, the gradient in x and y direction, the hydraulic conductivity, the saturated thickness, the effective porosity, the well capture radius. Since the uh, particle reach well, it increases the velocity. So this is the radius where the, where the particle is captured. And this is the retardation factor. You have some absorption in your uh, movement. This uh, procedure is just uh, advective transport and electing any dispersion. So actually, you have here the x and y uh, transport uh, velocity. So something in this direction. Next uh, step is to enter the data for each well. For this particular example, we have three wells. So here, Q1, you have the pumping well rate, the X and Y position, and it's the same for the other wells. If you don't have more wells, just zero discharge rate. And then, <coughs> we begin with the, the main uh, spreadsheet. So you have here the graphical display. You can superimpose any map, any figure, any photo at the same scale of these uh, graphics. And uh, suppose that you have here some uh, polluted area, some uh, area of concern. And uh, we can use we, we will give any kind of initial particle position in this spreadsheet. This is the initial particle position. So, first I will give a line of particles along this X coordinate. So, let's do that. So, here we can enter the data. So I use here the maximum y position and uh, I put the particle every two meters. So let's copy. Okay. A little bit more. Oh, I think that's enough. And let's back to the first worksheet. And if you press F9, you have here all the line of particles every two meters. So maybe you are interested in this area of concern, so let's make use of the graphical display. So, well, uh, uh, sorry for the Spanish, but it's the same in the other language. So let's select the data, and I can include, add more data. So I will give any name to this uh, uh, new data, so contamination, and I will give the X and Y position of this area. So let's give first the Y position, and uh, you have to choose here, so let's see a little bit more, okay, here we are. Okay, so this area is here, and then the X position, okay, and apply, apply again, and let's see, so yes, we have here the particles of different color, and uh, let's put another color, 
uh, here we can use I think it's better to use a circle let's decrease the size okay uh, let's put some color red one is okay and here without any line okay no line at all so okay here we are we have a red particles in this particular area and maybe we are interested if these particles are captured for in some of these walls for also the design of a remediation system is uh, is quite a good uh, uh, procedure so let's begin with uh, a large delta t 10 days and just by pressing f9 you see there the movement of the particles and well it approached first the black upper wall here we are okay let's decrease the delta time to avoid the uh, dispersion along the this uh, wall so again f9 and you could see that these uh, white particles or cream particles are captured by that well the upper wall here approach that red wall and well are captured that uh, particles that white particles and all the red particles goes through the other wall let's increase the time here a little bit okay so here you 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 see that uh, okay 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 and let's decrease again the delta time let's put uh, two days uh, you could see that uh, all these particles are captured but that well so for risk assessment this procedure is quite a good procedure also as a part of uh, rebecca tier 2 assessment you can use this particle tracking. Thank you very much.